Hello everyone, welcome back to Dauntless and welcome to the Repeaters Refresh. I have been looking forward to this for a very long time, so let's jump straight into it and explain what has happened with the Repeaters, what's changed, what's been improved and what we can look forward to. So if you go into your inbox, you'll see Repeaters Refresh. The combat team has been hard at work overhauling many aspects of the Austin Repeaters and we're now ready to put the Repeaters Refresh in your hands. The Repeaters Refresh brings a number of gameplay adjustments and quality of life improvements to our first ranged weapon. The first thing you may notice is that the Repeaters are no longer modular. You will craft Repeaters going forward as a cohesive whole. In addition to making crafting repeaters more streamlined, this refresh gives you access to a full set of unique effects for each repeater and allows you to show off brand new cosmetic designs based on each behemoth. I have seen the designs and they are absolutely amazing. Like They look so much better than the old repeaters. I'm looking forward to using them so much. So One of the first things we need to do is go to Admiral Zai, who is right here, and we need to complete the first repeater's quest, which is Lock, Load and Repeat. This task cannot wait. Craft a set of repeaters using behemoth parts and we get 100 rounds for that, so accept that. And you can see this is completely changed and look at the repeaters, they look so nice dude! So let's craft this one. So you can see it's as a whole and then I can power surge it. There we go, so let's equip that as well. Awesome, so let's complete that one. Very good. And we have another one, the Guns of Ostigard. Alright, so show Admiral Zai you have mastered using empowered shots with your Ostian repeaters. Use Ostian repeaters to deal 10,000 empowered damage to behemoths. Awesome, okay. So this is basically when you would like soak up the Aether from the behemoth and it would give you like a power boost to your um, repeater. So I think that's exactly the same as it was. Yeah, it is. Woo, look at that. That is fresh, dude. That is so cool. And the skins have been improved as well. So you can see all the parts we have here. We still have the pieces, uh, but they're not actually in the crafting recipe, so you can do whatever you want to. And we have different mods as well, as always. This is my Tempest build at the moment. Six cunning, fleet six fleet footed, six grace, six sharpened, six tenacious, and three conduit. And I'm using all these to the Malkarian Sight. Uh, Thraxious Shadow, Boreal Might, and I'm using, lastly, the Shrike Down Greaves. So now let's jump into the hunting grounds and see what we can do. You can also see there's a new uh, crosshair as well, and if you get closer to the behemoth, the crosshair gets bigger. If you get further away, the crosshair gets smaller. So let's see how much damage we can do with this. You can also see the camera's moved a little bit as well from before, so let's try and get some of this. Yeah. Boom! There we go. And I'm also going to kind of um, combine this video with my Tempest build video. Just make it a little bit easier. I think the repeaters are a really good kind of um, weapon to use with the Tempest uh, Omni Cell just because of the need to be fast and agile as well. So. Oops, no, I messed that up! <laughs> but you can see, like, even I'm at level 3 and I'm doing, like, enormous damage. Uh, to the strike, you know, even with a level 3. So, the one thing that is actually quite hard to get used to with the repeaters, um, I'm finding now as I do this video, is the camera angle is kind of weird. I'm so used to like the old camera angle that it's kind of, you know, it's, it does feel weird, but I think that's just something to get used to, to be honest. But you see, I am doing a lot of damage considering. Oh, I haven't even used my specials, wait a minute. So let me use my uh, specials real quick, so let's see why. Ooh! That's new! Okay, I see you. And then put that down. Put that, some speed on us. Wow! Okay, I like it. Come on, Luke. There we go. Two. And you can stack the Tempest Omnicell as well, which I absolutely love, so... Which is how people have been like one-shotting Behemoths and defeating Behemoths literally just with a Tempest Cell. Because um, it's just that good. And we can see from the cross, if I move backwards, the crosshair gets smaller and smaller. Which is actually pretty nice as well. Because that was one of the biggest problems with the old repeaters, was the crosshair. Like, literally, you couldn't even see the crosshair at certain points. Certain points, um... 
with the old repeaters, you were literally just shooting blind because you had no idea. <laughs> well, me personally, anyway. I had no idea where I was aiming. So the fact that they've actually given us a crosshead that we can see and gets bigger and smaller considering like how far away or how close we are to the behemoth is actually really good. So I actually really do enjoy that. I think a lot of times with this game in particular, like it's the small thing sometimes, you know, it's not the huge update. Sometimes it's like the refreshes or the little crosshair that they change, you know. Sometimes it's just those things that just make the game so much better and easier. Look at that, 500 damage and I'm at level 7? Come on now. Boom! Boom! Last one? Yeah, last one! Awesome, look at that. That's pretty cool. And one thing I do love about this repeated update as well, if you go into your options, I think it's in the uh, camera FOV right here. This actually affects the way the repeaters look. So as I was saying before, like the camera looks kind of weird to me. So if you wanted to, you could go in here and actually change it up a little bit. So aim mode, camera distance, aim mode, camera FOV, and camera shake as well. So you can turn the camera shake up. I don't really like the camera shake at all. Uh, so if I turn this up, let's put this up to like maybe 60, and then put this up to maybe 5, maybe 450. You can already see that there's a big difference in the way our camera looks and how close it is to our character. Like right here. So you can see already that I'm much further away than I was before. And uh, yeah, depending on your playstyle, you might want to be closer or further away from the behemoth. Alright, so there we go, 10,000 in power damage to Behemoths using our freshly renewed repeaters. There we go. And that is it, basically. That is the new repeaters, and as you can see, as always, you can unlock them. I genuinely enjoyed it. I mean, I haven't played it a lot, uh, but just from looking at it from a player's perspective, it looks so much better. The repeaters look so much better. The artists have done an amazing job. I think Dauntless, the developers, I Praise them where it's due and they have done an amazing job implementing this into the game and I really, I'm looking forward to spending more time with repeaters. So yeah, tell me what you think about the brand new repeaters. Do you like them? Um, do you, have you used them? What do you think of them? And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.